This is Tori from New York, and she wants to tell everybody it's Fan Friday! <gasps> Look! Shelby, Oakley, Shadow! It's Fan Friday! Um, don't forget, you guys, if you want to do a intro for Fan Friday, just leave it as a video response to this video, and we will try to use your intro. <laughs> Jeez, oh, Pete, you don't have to be so loud. Um, first thing we'd like to do is say thank you to everybody who supported us in YouTube's On The Rise competition. Uh, we... That was a thank you from Shelby, apparently. <laughs> we don't know who won yet. We won't know until sometime next week. But as soon as we find something out, we will let you know. Um, I know, it's crazy stuff. Crazy stuff. <laughs> uh, Thanks for putting up with all of our crazy posts on Twitter and Facebook during the competition. Uh, it looks like we did pretty good in the voting, so like I said, as soon as we find anything out, we'll let you know. On to the questions! First question is from Charlotte. Charlotte wants to know, since Siberian Huskies are on the dangerous dogs list for insurance purposes, did the Huskies, did the girls affect your insurance rates? Um, no, they didn't. I think in Michigan they can't discriminate based on what kind of dogs you have. I know some states they can and some states they can't. I don't think they can in Michigan. Our insurance company knows we have the dogs and it did not affect our insurance rates. Rossio wants to know how we came up with our YouTube name. Um, when we had just Shiloh and Shelby, I used to tell people a lot that we had gone to the dogs because we had two dogs and they were huskies and a lot of people thought we were crazy for having two huskies. Um, and then it kind of just became a thing where, you know, they're snow dogs. So when I was trying to think of a YouTube name, I said, well, why not go on to the snow dogs? We, I had thought of a bunch of different things like happy huskies and hiking huskies and howling huskies and none of them really fit. And I, I also didn't know if I would ever get a Malamute or, you know, another kind of dog. So we decided to call it Gone to the Snow Dogs because they're snow dogs. Whenever we go out hiking and walking with the dogs, a lot of little kids refer to the dogs as snow dogs, probably because of the movie. So the name kind of just stuck. Victoria wants to know if huskies are easy to train. Um, not really. They, they can be very stubborn. They will... T really? They will test you every step of the way. They are a lot like teenagers. They'll talk back. They'll pout. <laughs> They're very smart dogs, so they learn really quickly, but they also will test your patience as often as possible. Um, she also wanted to know, she's getting a husky from a shelter, and she wants to know about changing the dog's name. If the dog already knows their name, I wouldn't change it, because that can be a very confusing thing for a dog, unless you change it to something very similar. The, one of the reasons we kept Oakley's name was because she knew her name so well. We didn't want to change it on her, and throw the confusion of you're in this home and now you're in this home and now we're gonna call you something different. We just decided to keep her name to keep it easier for her. Mauricio said, I loved the live show that you did yesterday. Are you planning on doing these weekly? That's a big yawn, Shelby. Actually, we are planning on doing more live shows. It probably will become a at least a once a week thing if, if everything works out the way we want it to. So yes, we will be doing more live shows. So you'll be seeing us again live eventually. Emily wants to know how old Sunshine the St. Bernard is. Sunshine, let's see, Shelby's five, so I think Sunshine is three. I'm pretty sure she's three. Did she bump into you? Really? She bump into you? You're not happy about that? I don't know, she's loud, huh? Yeah, I believe Sunshine is three years old now. Kira says, did you know the brand of dog food that you use has had recalls? Yes, of course we know that the brand of dog food we use has had recalls. And if you actually look at it, the recalls were only in certain states and it was when the food came from a certain manufacturing plant. We did check into it because of the recalls and our food was not recalled here. Uh, we feed our dogs Canada All Life Stages and they did have a recall not long ago, but they actually have a brand new uh, manufacturing plant now too, which is kind of nice. Speaking of dog food, Sarah wants to know in our opinion, what is a good brand of dog food? Any type of all natural dog food, um, Taste of the Wild, <laughs> Taste of the Wild, Canada, Wellness, those types of foods, pretty much stuff you can't just go to Walmart and get are 
gonna be more of a better high quality food. There's also frozen diets, raw diets. If you're gonna do raw, make sure you do your research on it. Uh, there's a lot of different things, but if you're looking for just a good brand of dog food that you wanna feed your dogs, go with something all natural. I've been feeding my girls Candidate All Life Stages for years now, and they've all done really well on it. Shelby's been on it ever since she was a puppy. You've always eaten that, and she looks pretty good, don't you think? Are you pretty, you look pretty good? I think so. That's good food, good food for you, right? Good food. We got a fun drawing in the mail today from Heather. Thank you for sending that to us, Heather. We also got a happy birthday card in the mail today for Shelby from Kaylee. She wrote, sorry it's late. That's okay, it's adorable anyway. We got a letter and a drawing of Shelby and a little drawing of Shiloh and Oakley from Monica. And Monica had a question and she said, if you were to get another husky, what would you want it to look like? Well, I have a black and white and a sable and white and another black and white. I'd want it to be a red and white. And I would, yeah, I would definitely want it to be a red and white. And for personality type, I don't know. They all have their own individual personalities, so I don't think it would be something I would pick. They would just come with it on their own. We got another letter, but we don't know who it's from. They didn't write who it was from. But they said that they love Shiloh, Shelby, and Oakley. And that Oakley is his favorite, or her favorite. I don't even know if it's a boy or a girl that wrote that. You hear that, Oakley? You're the favorite. We also got these three drawings from Roxanne and Panda, the Siberian Husky. There's one of Oakley and Shiloh and Shelby. Those are pretty cool. You don't have to lick my toes. Thanks, Oakley. We also got a letter with a cute little drawing from Vanessa. And Vanessa lives in Canada and wants to know how much money we spend on pet food. Um, if you go back and look at Monday's video, we actually did a full video on the cost of owning a dog. And it tells you how much money we spend on pet food, which I don't remember the number, but it was a lot. <laughs> That's all we have for Fan Friday today. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for hanging out with us. I don't know when the next live show will be. Maybe sometime this weekend if we're in town, depending on what we end up doing. <laughs> you girls are sleeping butt to butt. You look kind of funny. Don't cry just because Oakley's crying. Oh, I better feed you dinner. It's almost 5 o'clock. 5 o'clock, time for the girls to eat dinner. Thanks for watching, you guys. We will see you on Monday. Say bye. Goodbye. Don't forget, if you guys would like to send us anything in the mail, our P.O. Box address is Gone to the Snow Dogs, P.O. Box 12, Alpena, Michigan, 49707. And if you have questions for Fan Friday, you can leave them on our Facebook page or on our Twitter page, which are listed on the screen. Thanks for watching, you guys.